y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jay Cruz, aka Rosa Audio Cat, here with another day, another video. I want to thank you guys, first of all, for the support that y'all giving this channel, man. It's been busy at the shop. It's been going crazy here. Just doing our thing, man. But today we got here is a G63 AMG. As you can tell there, it is a twin turbo V8, 4.8 liter, gorgeous car. Customer brought this in today, built in this bad boy. So we're doing this one in a full Nemesis build. We're doing a Nemesis 3600 watt five channel, which gives a 1000 RMS output to the subwoofers, 125 to 200 watts per speaker. We're gonna up top here from Nemesis, six and a half down here. We'll throw some six and a half down here. We're doing a box that's gonna go right back here wrapped in black carpet it's going to be a 2.8 box that can be running on this one a 2.8 box running on this bad boy for two nemesis f series we're going to get this one buttoned up and going getting to remove the seat so we can get to the factory amplifier begin the removal of the wiring start getting it situated and get it going y'all stay tuned cruise cruise so to get you on the stage was mounted underneath the seat of uh, the driver's seat so we have to remove the seat to be able to give us access to it and get to the wiring i'll give you a little sneak peek of what it is but down there that is the amplifier we have to get to to be able to get the wiring to really be using LC7 on this unit, which is gonna allow us to be able to get the unit, all the signals together and do what they call summing. I'm explaining to you guys why this is important. Nickel with an amplifier. This is normally tuned to 120 to 140 Hertz plus. That means it's more high range. These are more mid bass and mid range and the back is more of a full range. So when you're doing an installation of this, this build is that you're gonna have a problem with crossover when you put, if we were to just grab with the high to low, the tweeter signal, all the vocals in the car are gonna be very high pitched, very high sounding, they're not gonna give full range, which is not what we wanna do. We wanna be able to accomplish this, to have it where we have the uh, audio complete, and then we could do our own tuning of what we wanna do on the uh, on the build itself to get it going where we wanna do. So to start is the amplifier, start getting all the wiring right in there, bypassing the factory amplifier, getting the signals to the LC7, getting our RCA outputs, getting the box and the subs in, and getting all the door speakers removed, and uh, swapping those out and getting a smile on this customer's face, y'all. So right now, Josh is getting to the seat, getting the seat removed. Once we get that, I'll show you a little bit about the wiring and kind of go through the build from there. So Josh has a question for y'all on cash. Okay, so I know that these doors are ran off of air. Uh -huh. A lot of stuff in this car is ran off of air. Uh -huh. Is this an airline that's under the seat running the seat? For the control box? Yeah, I don't know. I got a line that looks like an airline. Let's go take a look. Let's oh. go see what we're talking about. So let's get in here and see what Josh is asking me about. So this is an airline, yes, it is an airline right here, and we're gonna just pop this apart. You, you know how to pop it apart? Yeah, I just wanna make sure. Yeah, that, that is an airline because it runs the signals. Everything in this thing runs to this control box. This control box runs everything else in need because they could the wiring for it, they could the wiring, and then you have an airline that runs right here, which you can see that comes in here, and that's gonna be for what fills up these area when you have the bolster uh, fill up and close down. Yeah. That happens on this car, y'all. So just so you understand, it's not an easy build, but it's not a, Josh, do you like these? I have my opinions about German cars and they're aligned with like World War II and stuff like that. <laughs> I still like German cars. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, we, we, our job is to get the customer smiling and happy, man. So that's what we're doing. Hey, we should have a pretty interesting- It's a nice car though. It is a nice car, y'all. Let me show you a little bit about this. It is an AMG. Uh, it is a real AMG and you can see that they actually signed this here. It's uh, Matt, look at the guy who built the car. That's his name. It's handcrafted by, that's why the G-Wagons are worth what they worth, but it is a Mercedes-Benz AMG from Germany, 4.8 twin turbo build from them on a beautiful G-Wagon. So definitely a high dollar car. We thank them for trusting us here in the shop. We've done a lot of high-end cars that y'all seen in the videos. We've gone as far as what? My God, we've worked on Lambos. We've worked on Mercedes AMGs. We've worked on, my God, I mean, I can't even tell you, Bentleys, Rolls Royces. We've had a blessing of working a lot of exotic cars, man, and it's a blessing that we've been able to create this here at AutoZone and they trust us with these cars, huh? What are you having a whole bunch of Euruses lately too, man, a Lamborghini Euruses. Uh, so it's just a privilege that we have of being able to work on these cars, y'all. My goal is to make this customer happy and make them smile. Hopefully we knock it out the water. We'll see at the end of this video if we can actually get that reaction from this customer. All right, Cruise Crew, gonna give you more. The battery is located in the center console of this vehicle. You gotta remove the two torque screws that go on the top for the cup holders and you'll be able to get access to the battery. Look at all these wires, y'all. I just got really excited. Yes, like this, this is- made my, my hiding 
stuff a lot easier. Yeah, actually, I just saw that too, man. But right now, that's where the battery is, y'all. So we are showing you where that side is in the center console in the back of the vehicle. You got to remove that center cap. We has two torque screws that go into to the cup holder. Then you have access to the battery, and that's where you're going to get your powers and everything else, y'all. So just kind of giving you the best walkthrough I can on the build to show you what's going on. So I'm giving you an update on the beautiful G-Wagon to show you what's going on, which is actually working on the bypass wires. As you can tell, this is the OEM plug. This is what we've done to it. You see how it looks? OEM tape, R tape, clean. He's not done with it, but just so you have an idea of what this looks like. Fiber optic signal, factory bypasses, nine wires, everything here ready to go. From here, the signals are coming in and going back out to the amplifiers and stuff like that. So that's kind of what's going on in this section right here. Um, battery, like I showed y'all, is there. Let me see if we got an update in the back anywhere here yet. Hold on. Yep, we got wires running in the back, y'all. So we do have the LC7 we're gonna be installing on this bad boy because some of the stuff he has already ran. I'm gonna let him do his thing, but I'm just giving y'all a little update on the beautiful G. We'll show you how it gets done here at AudioZone. All righty, Cruise Crew, so coming on this show you what's going on. Boxes wrapped up, yes, sir. Beautiful black, ports in the side. We got the, uh, you can tell there, the LC7, the amplifier, all this is going in there. Man, it is going to be spectacular. Let me show you some other stuff in here. So yes, we do have them installed. The Neos, Nemesis Audio, six and a half. We got them up here too, y'all. Neos, Nemesis, six and a half. He already put the tweeters in here, so I wasn't able to catch up for that, but that is where that's at. Amplifiers in there. Uh, they're gonna start buttoning it up. These were the tweeters that we installed. They're the Hectic Series, one inch performance tweeters. They're pretty much beautiful pro audios. They're really nice. But uh, this is what it's coming in the vehicle, man. I'm gonna call the customer, give him a heads up what's going on and start having him come down so he could be excited today. So I will uh, get a revolution or get a revolution. You see me at the end of the day. I will have a video showing you his results, his smiley face, and get this beautiful car out to the client. Okay, cruise crew. So more to the end of this build. As y'all saw that was before, but you can see the box is already there. Amps, everything zip tied and clean is looking good. The guys are buttoning up the doors now, getting this car back to being situated and the customer should be happy. The other reason we can't put them on camera, but I did want to show you what the reason done. Custom built box, X to X, ported, 2.8 F-Series Nemesis Audios. Let me show you the rest of this build. Let me see if I can get, hold on, let me go to the other side so I don't get, get let me go to this side. Huh? Huh? Oh, just in case. The guy that's playing is not signed yet, but you know, just in case. Let me show you something else here. Let me see if I can figure out how to get the seat up. <laughs> yeah, how do I get the seat up? Huh? I can't find it, y'all. Hold on. I can't find his uh, seat up on this thing, huh? Center of the hook, but I can't get back there now. Oh, wait, I think I found it. It is amateur hour. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I can't figure out how to get it done, y'all. But I want these all to the finish. LC7, install cleaned out, taped up. Y'all tell me about that, man. Clean and beautiful. He wanted something simple. That's a nice little simple build, but it does sound amazing. The guys are bunning it all up. Should have this out ready for delivery very shortly, man. Um, knock out to the team, man. The team did their thing. Like always, we're grateful for the team. They do their thing, they handle their business, and they're good at it, man. So we're grateful for that thing. What you want to say, John? Out to YouTube. The, he always tells you that they're about to be out, but you don't ever see him working on them when he says that. I got a question when for you, bro. Did I put hands on today? He did put the hands on. Don't today. be playing with me. Don't don't play. You know what I'm saying? I, just because I'm faster than y'all doesn't mean that y'all could come and criticize me now. Look at Josh over there getting all hot. Look. Well, I mean, when you make mistakes, I mean, of course you can be faster. Oh, uh, hell no. <laughs> what you mean, mistakes? Man. <laughs> okay, so now on that one, I I'm got just, a question. I'm just playing. No, no, no. We're going to get I'm in here. Come playing. here, come here, Josh. I'm a, we're going to get into this. You ready for this? Oh, when God. you have a, a troubleshooting problem, who do you call? I call myself. You don't call yourself, Nick. Get out of here, yeah. man. No, I got the camera. Hey, Hunter Joshua Krul. Like you, man, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be able to have the team. Josh is with us, son. Uh, it's just a great thing, y'all. So the final results in this are amazing. I've already heard it. I'll give y'all a demo towards the end of it. The team is buttoning it up. The dude that owns it doesn't want to be on camera, so we're not going to put him on camera, but I will show you the final results, give you a little demo of how it sounds at a distance, and you'll get to understand exactly what's going on, y'all, so stay tuned. Get you hear the G-Wagon.
just like that, this one's done, y'all. 100% ready to go. Okay, guys, so at this point in time, that one's getting ready to be signed, sealed, delivered. Y'all heard it. Beautiful G Wagon done. Customer gonna be happy, y'all. So at this point in time, I end this video. I was telling y'all, thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for everything y'all done, man. Y'all be good and God bless. Give y'all a distance um, here on this bad boy so y'all can see what she sounds like at a distance. Let me walk far away.